Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back, and yes, we're back for another tournament video, and yes, as you may have realised, the deadline passed Saturday, so it's time for me to go through all the teams, and boy do we have a lot of them, so thank you all for your lovely entries, and good luck to you all, and if I'm not too slow do it go through all the teams, I'll do the group placement here as well. Oh right, let's get on with that. And yes, I got Dinosaur King in the back. <laughs> and yes, we have me. Well, you already know my team. We have the Chasmosaurus, the Alpha version, Mega Raptor, and the Baryonyx. Okay, our first entry was Toka Nightmare, with a Lexovasaurus, a Super U Centrosaurus, and an Armored Eocarcaria. Um, I expect this team to do well in this, to in this tournament. I mean, if I have to face up against this team, hmm, I think it'd be 50 50, because obviously we'd have the type advantage here, but then I'd have the type advantage over here. And then we'd kind of be even by here. Anyway, our next entry is Danix Tactor with a Gigant Spinosaurus, Majungasaurus, and a Super Eocarcaria. Yes, lots of Eocarcarias in this tournament. And they all pretty much have Goma's moveset of Heat Eruption, Burning Dash, and Flare Sword. Oh, except for this Yokak here, which has a Volcano Burst. Um, next dinosaur, up we have Cryonova. A with a Lambiosaurus, Cryolophosaurus, and Super Chomp. Hmm, it's going to be quite a tricky team to negotiate. And yes, there's a lot of Cryos in this tournament as well for some reason. Uh, number 4 we have Lanzu. With a Lanzusaurus, of course. An Edmontosaurus, and a Super Titanosaurus. Um, I, I don't want to be critical on people, but I don't know if this team's going to do well this talk, in the talk. I it's usually avoided to have two dinosaurs of the same element. That's, you should really avoid doing it. I mean, I don't mind. It's your team at the end of the day, but that's just my opinion. And well, if he faces me, uh, he's going to get slaughtered. <laughs> Um, anyway, next up we have Slifer Sky Dragon, Quadruple X, with an Abilosaurus, a Patasaurus, and Spiny. Yes, all the fire dinosaurs in this in this column here, having a water dinosaur in third could be a huge advantage going forward. Okay, next up we have Jonas Chew with a Baryonyx, a Super Tarbosaurus, and an Allosaurus. Hmm, could be one to watch. The, the Super Tarbosaurus could be... Could be deadly. Okay, next up we have Anton Gouchon with a Shunosaurus, a Lanzusaurus, and Giga Swift Armor. On this, if I face this guy, is a very good matchup for me because I'll have the type advantage over his Shuno, his Lanzu, and his Gigas. And next up we have Torvosaurus, who's feeling pretty confident about their team. And they have an Isosaurus, a Super Shant, and a Haradonosaurus. And just like Anton, if he faces me, I have the type of advantage over all of his dinosaurs. Anyway, number 9, we have the Skrill, the Makusaurus, Piantnitskisaurus, and Eoraptor. I wouldn't underestimate Piantnitskisaurus, and quite frankly, that's a very good moveset in my opinion. You've got recovery, you've got the Hurricane Beat, and you've got the Jet Shuriken. I, this guy would be, could be one to watch, the Skrill. Next up, we have Arctic Warriors with Please a Mega Raptor, Alpha Sukumimus, and Megalosaurus. And because he has Mega Raptor in his team, he will instantly make the semis. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, a good team, a good team. Look forward to seeing what his Mega Raptor can do. Uh, he's got, he's definitely gone for power because he's got Bite and Wind, Mayfly, and Hurricane. Going for all-out attack, which could be interesting. Anyway, number eleven, we have Blood Moon with Chomp. Baryonyx and Pachycephalosaurus. Interesting here that he doesn't have a secret move with his Pachycephalus. That means he won't have the type advantage over all the other dinosaurs. That could be costly. And then another Baryonyx. For some reason, Baryonyx is popular in this tournament. With, yeah, good, good moveset. Stomping Hammer, Aqua Vortex, and Futaba Cannon, yeah. And then Chomp Check with Lightning Strike, Recovery, and Kamikaze Tackle. Uh, okay, let's when you use moves Fight like Kamikaze Tackle, you, you should really check the compatibility with the dinosaur you want to use it with. 
that yeah. kamikaze tackle is only good with dinosaurs that have 2,000 strength calling. or 1,800 strength. You can get a car. On anything else, it's not as good. Again, with recovery, recovery is only good on dinosaurs with more than 800 technique. So that's anything with 1,200 strength or 1,000 strength or something with 2,000 strength and 1,000 technique. Other than that, recovery Hi, won't I'm give Matt. you much health, this so you should really avoid using it. Anyway, number 12, we Where have Star Pumpkin, it? with a Spinosaurus, Alpha Matt. Acrocanthosaurus, and a Mega Raptor. Again, the issue here is the stomping hammer. I mean, Mega Raptor's power is all in the crit at the end of the day, but... Again, you should really avoid using Stomping Hammer on a dinosaur like Megaraptor, who has less than, I think, we won't let them get away with this. I think it's 600 We've got technique. To save them. Anything with less than 600 technique will not maximize this move. Out. I mean, this one is this one is fine. So you have Tail Smash and Kamikaze Tackle, which works best on dinosaurs with 1800 and 2000 strength. So that's fine, but yes, you should really use Tail Smash. Oh well, tough luck. <laughs> anyway, number 13, we have an old competitor, Ultimate point. Dino King, with a Brachylophosaurus, Super Talarurus, and Alpha Acro. Interesting here that he hasn't gone for any fire moves on the Alpha Acro, which might actually pay off because it's because of the glutton of water dinosaurs in this column. So it might dinosaur, actually pay off in the long run. And the dino stuff card. could come in handy. And, and Super Talor, as I think, yeah, he used this guy last time. While it was a rough start for Ultimate, he did pull through and finish well in the tournament. I think, yeah, I think it was in the top eight. Yeah, I think it was in the top eight. He's got to the corner. And Brachylophosaurus? Don't know what to expect from it. But yeah, he's definitely going for like another fight set. Right, next up we have Aladon with Decentaurus, Super Opisocelacordia, and Eocarcaria with Armor. Again, Goma's moveset for Eocarcaria. Uh, this guy could be a pain to deal with. With the Shockwave, the Aqua Vortex, the Ocean Panic. Definitely a move nullifying move set, and uh, and this Operation thing does have high technique, so rescue. I think this could be the Joker of this team. Please insert <laughs> one coin. And Decentraurus is Decentraurus. Not much to say here. Okay, next up we have Dino Nerd, and he's gone with all fire dinosaurs. I <laughs> don't think that's a good idea, to be honest, because other than fire dinosaurs, water dinosaurs are the most popular. So. Unfortunately, I can't see Dino Nerd doing too well in this tournament. But anyway, he has a Giganotosaurus, Albertosaurus, and Terry Dino. And again, the issue here is Diving Press and Dino Swing don't really work well with Giga. Fireball is fine. Anyway, Albertosaurus. Uh, not too bad for Alberta, and Terry pretty much the muscle of the team. This, this is actually a good move set for me, in my opinion. So I feel like he might surprise me, but I, I can't see him doing, going far in the tournament. Sorry, I'm just... I'm sorry, it's just my opinion. You know, I could be wrong. I probably will be. Anyway, next up we have Ultimate Dino Queen. I want to turn the game down a bit in case I can't Yes, the Dark Hawks of the tournament makes a return after not entering last time with a Uteraptor, Opisthocela Claudia, and Super Ragosaurus. Uh, Uteraptor seems to be standard for her. Uh, Dino Illusion Mayfly is pretty good. Tiebreaker is not too bad. And in this thing we have Shockwave, Aqua Vortex, and Tragic Sphere. So this thing, again, like the other one, could be if one to watch, and then Super Ragosaurus. Then the Volcano Burst Swipe is coming out. Magma Blaster packing the punch. But it is a Fire card. Dinosaur, so it could and struggle against teams who have a Water Dinosaur in third. In and here's, and here's our champ, work. not the champ, Laos, with an Alpha Kentosaurus like last time. Eoraptor and Isosaurus, so it's the return of Isosaurus for life, and a new dinosaur, Eoraptor. So he has defense boost, which Eoraptor really needs, because it's quite fragile. High bomb, which seems to be a standard move for him, and, well, this won't be death grind, this will be a super move. 
I hope okay, if it becomes so Faganax, I hope it doesn't have death fire. If it does, dinosaur. I'll just change this to something else Operation so he doesn't have death fire. Because that's a bit unfair. Anyway, out for Kentra Please with Spike Arrows, Earth point. Barrier, Triple Head, but interestingly, he hasn't gone for Quicksick. Maybe he's looking for the instant damage. And Earth Barrier again, probably the best Earth move. And Triple Head, but it's Triple Head, but I think it lowers technique. Isosaurus here with Water Sword, pretty good for a critical move. High Bomb and Futaba Cannon. No real sense in going for moves that were out of technique here for Isosaurus because it has what, zero technique. Right, on the Primal Cart Man with a Spinosaurus, Eocarcaria, the normal version, and Kralophosaurus. Um, not much to say here, he's just gone for like pretty much all attacking moves. But yeah, not much to say here. Uh, could do well in the tournament. Uh, next up we have Lepoke, making a return. I think this is his first entry into one of my tournaments, he's in this tournament. With an Albertosaurus, Albertoceratops, and Duoplocephalus. Um, actually, funny enough, I actually picked the moveset here because <laughs> he didn't know what moves to use, so... And I didn't... and he wouldn't pick, so I had to pick. So basically, these are basically my move set. So I've gone for the tire attack burning dash combo here with a bit of flare sword because Albert Swords has good technique. And then as for Albert the Ceratops, I've just gone for attack really with Lightning Axe, Lightning Spear, and Thunder Driver. And as for the Cephalus, I've gone for more defense with, with the punch of Quake Saber, the defensive power of Earth Barrier, and the resilience of Light Recovery. Okay, next up we have Dark Ash Star with our another Albert the Ceratops. Super Palace, and the only Black T-Rex in this tournament, Black T-Rex. Um, issues I have with this Black T-Rex is heat eruption. Uh, black T-Rex has zero technique, and you need high technique if you want to maximize heat eruption, so you should really avoid using heat eruption with Black T-Rex. I mean, Burning Dash is fine and Light Recovery is okay, but I wouldn't recommend Heat Eruption. I'd say something like, if you want to go for Attack, Magma Blaster, Fire Cannon, stuff like that. Uh, Super Paris. Um, interestingly, a move block, which is quite a good move. With the Trodons coming in, nullifying your opponent's moves. And then Green Impulse and Form Whip is what it is. Uh, Super Paris has pretty good technique, so I think these two are pretty well maximized. Not sure about the Awaken mode on 5 Please though. I, I don't think it'd be an issue here, because you, you could be in a 2v1 situation. But here, we'll just have to see. And Alberta Ceratops is just Alberta Ceratops. Okay, next up we have Nano Hunter 5000 with a Simo Tyrannus, Super Ulti Rhinus, and a Suka Um, don't know if I expect too much with this team. I mean, the interesting thing here is that the Simo Tyrannus doesn't have any fire moves, which, with all the water dinosaurs running around, could be good for him. And with defense boost, uh, I, I would probably put recovery in here and have Alpha Dart instead. But I think Alpha Dart is a better move. And recovery, you, with Simo Tyrannus' high technique, you can maximize the effects of recovery. Anyway, next up is Super Ulti Rhinus. Yeah, again, same issue as some of the other teams. I don't think Atomic Bomb it. works well with Ultra Riders, though. You'd be better off with Net Crusher. Anyway, Nature's Blessing, which is always decent, and Emerald Garden, which could be crucial. And then at the end, we have Super Minus, which will have a good advantage over a lot of the Fire Dinosaurs in this column. And the Futaba Cannon could be deadly, with Excited Spaghetti to heal and Critical Block to nullify. And <laughs> he asked me to call his team this. We've got the DBW's original gangsters. We have a T-Rex. We have a T-Rex. A Lambiosaurus and a Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, not much to say with Pachycephalosaurus. It's just standard it moves. Like standard secret moves, I mean. Lambiosaurus. Uh, yeah, solid moveset for Lambiosaurus. Bigfoot Assault could do damage. Nature's Blessing could heal. I expect Metal Wing to do well as well. Uh, T-Rex, Dino Stuffer is always a good move to have. And Blazing Spin is really good on T-Rex. And Firebomb, well, it's Firebomb. Um, the thing with T-Rex is because it has such a high crit damage output, there's not really much point in putting a powerful, like, high damage output base move for Rock and Scissors. And he's obviously put it Blazing Spin in for paper. So I'd probably replace this with something like Light Recovery or something, I don't know.
that's just a little nitpick I have. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't mean to be critical. It's just things that I would do differently. Okay, like, that doesn't mean your team is bad. It's just, you know, it's just my opinion. I'm sure other people would disagree with me. Anyway, number twenty-three. We, wow, we're not even halfway. We have MEJP10 with Panoplosaurus, Joe Borio, and Allosaurus you Atrox. Again, with Allosaurus Atrox, like Stomping Hammer isn't going to do too much, even though it's his crypt. And not really much use in using Hurricane Beat on Atrox, because like T-Rex, Atrox has a very high crit damage output. I think it actually has the highest in the game, like for a normal dinosaur. So you should read, the like the best move to use for Rock would be Biting Wind. Uh, Net Crusher is fine. Net Crusher is pretty good. What do you think this is? But maybe back this up Net Fighting Wind with like some support moves like Attack Boost and stuff like that. And as for Joe Borrier, not too many issues. Like Tail Smash is decent. Dino Swing, again, is the same as other moves that I mentioned before. And Futaba Tan is pretty decent. Anyway, moving on, we have Kit Green, number 24. With Alpha Chasmosaurus, Cockcat, Super Taurosaurus, and Super Triceratops. My issue with this team is the fact that it's all lightning dinosaurs. But doing all the stat calculating, he might get away with it because Earth dinosaurs are the, le are the least common in this tournament, so he might be okay, but if he faces an Earth dinosaur, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And there are a lot of water dinosaurs running around, so we might be okay. Please insert one coin. But if I would probably you would not want to card. face this team, purely because I have a water dinosaur in third. And yeah, he's gone for all the same move sets, which is fine. Not too much of an issue. Gone for attack as well, so. If you play dinosaur King, I feel like Kit Green could be a dark horse in this tournament. Your dinosaur card, and your dinosaur but again, come out I would avoid using Swipe all three di card, lightning dinosaurs. But you really need a balance. But it's up to it. Right, number 25, we have Shadow Force with Alpha Rajasaurus, Baryonyx, and Gigas Armor. Quite a few Gigases as well. We have another Baryonyx with Water Sword, Aqua Vork, and Futaba Cannon. Solid moveset, Rajasaurus. Again, Net Crusher is not really useful on Alpha Rajasaurus. You can't maximize the damage with its with Rajasaurus' technique. And Firebomb is Firebomb, which is pretty good for Rajasaurus, and Magma Blaster is pretty solid as well. So I think this could be one to watch. And Gigas Armor, Magma Blaster is pretty deadly. And yeah, he's gone for all attacks, so this guy could... Please Even when it has the coin. type disadvantage, could you still be deadly. Like, I think his power could be over like 3,000. So yeah, definitely want to watch this guy, I guess. And next up, we have Random Guy 86 with Augustinia, Yang Chuangosaurus, and Super Ch Uh Interesting movesets here with Galley Rush, Dromeo, all the Rush moves, and all the Dive moves here. I quite like it. I kind of hope this guy does well. He's, interest he's, gone, for all he's gone all out. Uh, Yang Chuangosaurus has half this decent technique, so these friend. might activate more than these will, I mean Augustinia has, I think it has 300 techniques though, I wouldn't expect to see these activate the often, but the interesting the thing is, you won't have to worry about type advantage, advantage and type address. disadvantage with these two dinosaurs, so I think you'll be okay there, and then Super Chomp, which is pretty we'll beefy, with, with, a, few, with a fair few her. water dinosaurs in third, could put it in the driving seat in a lot of matchups. And Lightning Axe is pretty good, but I do have one issue with the fact that he has Lightning Axe and Electric Charge. But, and both moves can't activate in the same turn, so you'll either get one or the other, and it's a bit of a coin toss, so I would avoid doing that. Now for Chainsaw, we have a Soropelter, a Bertoceratops, but a common one this guy, and Spiny Dino Tester. And I'm looking at Spiny Death, Spino, Spiny Tester's moves set. I expect, I expect Chainsaw to do well in this tournament. A solid move set here, Dino Stuffer, which is always good to have. Aqua Javelin, good, good synergy with Spiny's high technique and Tragic Spear to go with Spiny's crit moves. So this guy could do well. Um, as for Albertosaurus, again, Albertoceratops, sorry. A uh, solid move set, Counter Blitz, Lightning Spear, Light like Recovery, not much to say there. And Soro Pelper, ACC Rocket is an interesting one. And then Earth Barrier is always good and nice to see more attack. Okay, now for Tor. And she has an Alpha Acro, a Therisniosaurus, and a Spinosaurus. 
Um, I actually helped her with this one. Then. <laughs> so she wanted to know which gold di water dinosaur Please has the best crit coin. damage. And I think it's Spino. But I might be wrong. But I think it is Spino. Anyway, as for Alpha Acro, same moveset as before. No need to go through that. Therizniosaurus with Claw Blade, Tie Bomb, and Strawberry Cake. Pretty solid. And the Spino with Water Sword, Vortex, and Strufio Rush. Don't know about Strufio Rush, though. Maybe Light Hi, Recovery might have been better. Like, I don't know. Alright, I swear we're almost done. With <laughs> now, we have Pilk. Yeah. With yet another Baryonyx. A this Megalosaurus and a Cryo. Right. He's gone for two secret dinosaurs. We've all secret moves, so... Could be a dark horse in this tournament. The secret dinosaurs with its secret moves will have the type advantage over everything else. And then Baryonyx is Baryonyx. Decent moves out. Okay, now we have an old competitor, Nopi. Nopi was quite impressive in my last tournament. This time we have the Tank, Super Chomp, and Isosaurus. Um, interesting moves that he's definitely gone for defensive moves. Although, again, with tanks, technique is good, but it's not good enough to maximize recovery, so. I'd probably prefer. I'd say Earth Barry would be better off going in here and maybe Light Recovery for you. And then we have Super Chomp with Counter Blitz, Atomic Bomb, Please and Light Recovery. So, yeah, that's you pretty solid as well. And then Isosaurus with another Light Recovery. Aqua Whip and Defense Boost, so quite the tank Isosaurus is. Okay, next up we have Ibuki Siyaka. Sorry if I said that wrong. King, With all lightning dinosaurs, Zuniceratops, Pentaceratops, and Super Trap. Again, my issue with this, all dinosaurs are the same element, which is usually card. avoid, which you should really avoid. But, In I will say, Decent move sets for them, so maybe it might pay off. Okay, next up we have Engineer Gaming with an Acrocamphosaurus, a Super Talarurus, and a Parasaurolophus Dinotector. Um, Acro could be a. I don't quite like this move set for Acro. Tag Team, Burning Dash, Flare Sword. Solid move set. Could be. Could be tough to break down this Acro. And then Super Talarurus with Spike Arrows, Earthquake, Light Recovery. Definitely gone for attack here. Instead of the Earth defensive mindset of Earth dinosaurs. And as for Parasaurolophus armor, it's not much to say here. Skydive, Dino Force, Emerald Garden. Not much to say, really. Next up, we have Connor Temple with a Natter Titan, Giga, and a Spinotector. Yes, lots of armor dinosaurs in this tournament. Um, Spinotector with Shockwave, Aqua Javelin, Futaba Cannon. Again, these two moves kind of clash, so. I would rather not have both of them in the same moveset and just have one. And Futaba Cannon's gonna be busted on this thing. And then as for Giga, well, I would watch out for this Giga because Magma Blaster on Giga is very powerful. And Volcano Burst to go with Giga's decent damage. And Firebomb as well for more power. <laughs> and then an Atta Titan with Nature's Blessing. Again, the issue here, Nature's Blessing, Form, form Whip. Wouldn't have both of them in the same We've list. Got to save them. Okay, next up we have Chomp Standard, Uteractor, Dino Illusion, Tornado Toss, and Sight. Not much to say here. And then Cocorodontosaurus. Again, not much to say. And then the Gold Rare Triceratops, the hidden one. Which could be an interesting one in this tournament. Thunder Bazooka I expect to be decent. Attack Burst, I don't know if how effective that'll be. And Counter Blitz. What is Counter Blitz? You can get a car! Okay, up next we have Mr. Backpack with a Displeosaurus, a Nodosaurus, and Super Paris. A uh, quite weird moveset for Displeosaurus with Fire Cannon, Stun Dash, and Technique Boost. If you play Not sure how King, useful Technique Boost will be though. I mean, it's only useful card, if you have moves like Volcano Burst, Flare Sword, Heat Eruption, moves card, that rely on Technique to activate. As for Nodosaurus, Sandtrack is pretty decent, Earth Barrier is always good, work. Elemental Power could come in handy. Fire, water, and then Super Paris in the end, with Tupa to Crush, Green Impulse and Emerald Garden. Again, could be decent, could be one to watch. Check and oh, we're, al we're almost there, we've got five more to go through. So next up we have Melon, with Soro, Faganax, Decentraurus and Gojurasaurus. Uh, not much to say here, pretty much the same dinos and moves as last time. Uh, Gojurasaurus okay, could be a good one to watch, but with all the fire dinosaurs in third, I don't think it's a good idea to have a wind dinosaur in third. So that could be costly. 
And then next up we have Dendrospis with Ceratosaurus, Supermimus and Corythosaurus. Uh, this one could be like an underdog. I, f I just feel like this is an underdog team. Uh, Cripplock could come in handy. Uh, Mayfly and Cyclone. Actually, Cripplock with Cyclone is quite a good combo because you nullify, you get rid of the opponent's critical move and you get the Cyclone, which means all you need to do is click the right move and you basically can't lose. So say, for example, your opponent's crit was Scissors and you nullified it. He, he would literally, and then you got Cyclone off. Next round, he basically gets a Mayfly. For free. That's quite a good combo, actually. I should really do that. Oh, why don't I do that? I could have done all my Mega Raptor. I might use that in future tournaments. Anyway, Super Mimus with Shockwave, Vortex, and Power Cannon. Pretty solid. And then Creepasaurus with Power Drain, Super Impact, and Evil Charm. Pretty good. Good for my lunch. No. Alright, next up we have Brenton with Abelosaurus, Super Metabarosaurus, and Armored Eocarpelia. Um, the issue here, not really sure how useful Lilian Cure will be here. I think recovery would be better. Um, this one's a very attack minded moveset, so this Metabarosaurus could be deadly, especially when it's in awakened mode. Um, as for Abelosaurus, Again, a very attack-minded moveset here, so... Guy, this guy could be one to watch. And, and, and oh, last but not least, we have Darius with Lexovasaurus, Streptospondylus, and Ampelosaurus. Um, interesting here with Ampelosaurus being tie recovery type, this one, with the tie attack as well. Light recovery could always come in handy. And Aqua Whip is Aqua Whip. And Lexovasaurus here, quite an attacking moveset with Quake Saber and Attack Boost and then a bit of Crystal Crusher. And lastly, we have Instructor Spondylus with Dino Illusion, Dino Swing, and Cyclo. And last, and the very last human entry for this tournament. Is Dinosaur Queen okay, 777. I like that picture. With a Tujongosaurus, a Rugops, and a Cryo. A uh, Tujongosaurus is quite an attack minded set here with Rock Please Roller and Giga Hammer. Rugops with the Hurricane Beat could be quite deadly with Jet Shuriken on top. And Cryolophosaurus, not much to say here. Right, and that is all the human entries. So now, I'm going to move on to the bot teams, and there's not too many of them. The ones that fill in the gaps. And I'm not going to go through these like crazy. Alright, we'll start with the champions team, because this is basically a team compiled of all the other dinosaurs that won previous mini tournaments. So we have Pachysaurus, Spinosaurus, and Pachycephala. And we have the return of the Continental Teams. We have Team Europe, Team North America, Team South America, Team Asia, and Team Africa. And we also have the return of Team Primal Carnage. With a Dilo. Okay, I need to explain the Proceralphus one. Like, Proceralphus isn't in Primal Carnage. But, Overraptor and Pteranodon is. That's why I have Proceralphus. And well, you've got to have, got to have Sarah, so let's do this. Here we're starting this one again. So, I'm going to double check to see how long I've been recording for. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm going to end this session here. And stay tuned for next time where I group all these buggers up.